Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see what is assembly language programming. Now why programming is required when we learn microprocessor and microcontroller each are program device. So if you want to execute anything by this chip then that particular instruction must be written in a program format that can be understood by the computer or that can be understood by the microprocessor. So each processor or different type of processor has their own instruction set. Those instructions can be utilized to write a program and according to the written program the task can be executed. So we are going to see what is assembly language and where exactly we can use this language to write a program. So assembly language is used, it is a low level language where the actual, if you want to execute something, basically if I ask you to stand up or to sit down, this is what I'm instructing you to do something. But this is a normal English language I'm using to uh, execute your sitting and standing position. But computer will not understand this English normal English language. So it has to be converted in some form in which the computer can be understood. So first of all this English language can be converted into assembly language which is a low level language and then it can be converted into the machine language that is the language is in the form of zeros and ones which can be understood by the processor. So let's see what is assembly language is and we will see few of its instruction and one of the program written by using assembly language. It is a low level language each instruction specifies a single ISA instruction. So each and every line consists of the instruction that can be executed by the processor. So if you want to move some data from one place to another place, so you have to write that by using the instruction which are available for that processor. It makes low level programming more user friendly. That means the the language can be more user friendly so user can understand the language and that language can be converted the data into the format so that processor will also understand. It is a more efficient, it has a more efficient code. Each assembly line begins with either a label or a blank tab and asterisk or and a semicolon. So here the one example is given so it can be start with a semicolon or it can be a begin with a label or it can be a begin with a tab and like that. So it has some pattern in which your language should be written. So let's see which are the different instructions which can be used to write this program. Assembly language program consists of a three types of statements. One is executable instruction or normal instructions, assembler directives or pseudo ops or in macros. Now followings are some example of a typical assembly language statement. First statement is INC count. Here that means it denote that it will count something. So it increment the memory variable count. So whatever it is counting that count variable can be incremented. So INC will give the instruction to that processor to increment something. Move total comma 48. So here transfer the value 48 in the memory variable total. Here total is the name given to that memory variable. That means it is instructing to processor to save the 48 number into total. Where total is the memory. That is the name of the memory location. Add AH comma BH. So here add the content of the BH register where B and H will be in pair. So it is a 16 bit register. So the 16 bit number get add with H. So add the content of BH register into AH register. That is the add operation. And mask 1 comma 128. So it will perform and operation of the variable mask 1 and 128 that means here in this instruction if mask 1 is consist of 36 and if here the 128 location it consists of 21 this addition of this or ending of this 2 will be done add mark comma 10 here the 10 number or 10 
this 10 will be added to the variable mark 1. So add 10 to the variable marks. This marks is the given as a variable name. That means this 10 number will be added to the memory location where the marks name is given. Move AL comma 10. Here the transfer value 10 to the AL register where AL is the name of the register. So the number 10 will get stored into the memory location AL. So it is a moving operation. So these are the different type of operation like incrementation, moving, adding, ending, these are the different operation can be performed by writing an assembly language. So here is a simple code which display output is equal to hello world. Now if I want to display hello world, the assembly language can be written in this way. Global start where here the declaration will happen. Then start it tells linkered as an entry point. So here my program will start. So first move edx comma len. This is the message length. What is the length of the message? That will be given. Then move ecx comma msg. Now what message I want to write? That message should be written over here. Move ebx comma 1. The file descriptor. It will describe what type of file you are using to display the message. Move eax comma 4. The system call number system underscore right so this number will get written into this or here you can say it's a move so this number will be shifted to the variable eax so that is the moving operation then int 0 into 80 basically this define the port so port number 80 this will call the kernel to call the kernel this variable can be used so internal port 80 will call the kernel move eax comma 1 that means the number will be move in variable eax so this is the system call number system underscore exit so it will exit from the location int again here it is calling kernel after exiting again the call kernel instructions to be given then it will end the program that is section dot data that means data is provided msg db hello world that my message should be written as a hello world so hello world will get displayed 0xa this string to be printed and the length will be given so length is this and the message is hello world so length of the string can be given by using this instruction and here the 0xa will consist of the hello world instruction so after executing this program the output you will get that will be hello world so First of all, you have to provide the length of the message. Then where exactly the message is located, that location has to be provided. Then you have to call the kernel. So initialization, typing of the message, saving of the message and that message can be printed by after running the assembly language code. I hope you have understood what is assembly language programming. There are many more instruction other than what we have discussed here. Those can be used to write a program which can be understood by the processor. So assembly language programming is one of them. Along with assembly language, the C programming can also be used. So in the next upcoming video, we can see what is the C programming and how the program can be written by using C programming. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Do subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.